country has ever seen. The reason why those Americans in North Carolina, those mothers, those fathers, those precious little children, were left to die, were left on rooftops begging, begging their government for help that never came, is because Kamala Harris turned FEMA into an illegal alien resettlement agency. Hey, shut the hell up! You conspiracy racist bigots, we'll indict you. We'll arrest you for bad mouthing FEMA. Who has ever good mouthed FEMA? I mean, Democrats hated FEMA with Katrina, Republicans hate FEMA with this. Nobody likes FEMA. Anyway, now FEMA's telling you, you better shut the hell up. About what? About racist conspiracies like we're blockading this area, not letting civilians go in to rescue people. But that's what you're doing. No, actually, it's not what we're doing. No, you're totally doing it. That and you're stealing supplies from people trying to drop off help in any of these places. You guys are purposely trying to get people killed. How do I know that? Well, here you've got the uh, the FEMA spokes, they, them, uh, a chick with a mustache over here. There are many dangerous myth-leading rumors spreading about hashtag Helene response, which can actively prevent survivors from getting help. Now, I don't think we're the problem. We're the problem. Yeah. Us pointing out that you criminals in the government are killing more people than the hurricane killed. Yeah, we're the problem, not you scumbag criminals in the government. Our top priority is ensuring that disaster assistance is reaching people in need. No, again, no, it's not. No, it's not. We've got all we have are reports. There are no reports of the government saving anybody. There are a million reports every hour of the government getting people killed. That's what that's what we're seeing. And then it, you've got resources to have a FEMA spokesperson lecture us. There's people dying right now. Millions of people without power. I, I think we could fire this idiot and use the uh, leftover money to. Get some help to these people. No, we don't want to do that. What do they want to do? Well, uh, again, here is what we've been hearing from truckers, what we're hearing from people on the ground, what we're hearing from people. There, there, we got a um, a group of civilians putting together a mule train, guys, a mule, the actual donkeys, packing them up and riding into this area. They're being blocked. They're being turned around, and they're having their stuff stolen. Here's a CG carf. Uh, we had five teams in Asheville today. The private plane delivering baby items to remote pregnancy center was told if they unload all the goods, they would be confiscated by FEMA. Yep. How dare you try to drop off goods at a pregnancy center? We'll steal your stuff. The government don't compete with us. We love stealing stuff, man. Yep, 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 yep. yep. They're good at that. They're good at that. Here's Elon Musk. He's got teams out there trying to drop off Starlink, and they're being turned around. Just received this text 20 minutes ago. Uh, what the fuck? FEMA is both incompetent and stopping people from helping? That's Elon responding to one of his dudes. No, they're not incompetent. They're competently killing us. This is the plan. They get more money, the more dead people. They're not incentivized to help people. They're incentivized to kill people. So that's what's happening. And if you're a, uh, a red state or a red county, they really want you dead. <laughs> I mean, they really want you dead. North Carolina. They're like, oh, screw it. Screw it. We ain't going to help anybody in North Carolina. Those areas up there are going to vote for Trump. Screw them. We're going to go help some more illegal aliens. It's true. They are now about to shut down the airspace to regulate private chapters. Again, the only people going in there are private chopters. Chopters? The only, the only people going into this area to help and rescue people are private choppers. It's not the government. So the government's like, no, 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 we're going to shut you down. So they're delivering, they're trying to deliver Starlink and supplies. We're pushing back with Trump team as uh, well to help us, but it's not looking good. We need to get help about and the word out about FEMA. We spoke to Ivanka and handed out Starlinks with her yesterday, but FEMA then showed up and started blocking us. <laughs> How dare you give out communicative devices? How dare you try to help people? Largest concern for us here is that the FAA throttling flights for our choppers where they are requiring to and from information and now mission uh, discrete codes. It takes forever to get any of that done. And so people are dying. 
And then here comes this fucking dude who announced the other day that he's got AIDS, or I'm sorry, HIV. He's got H- he's HIV positive. Who's shocked? Who's shocked? So right, we got a transportation secretary with such bad decision making skills that he's blowing random dudes and doing God knows what else that he got AIDS. I'm sorry, HIV. It'll be AIDS on, in the long enough timeline. So uh, d- again, he didn't get AIDS in the 80s. He got AIDS recently. And this is the type of person that's put in, in uh, decision making situations. This is a transportation secretary, a guy with that poor decision making skills. He should have been fired after you found out that this idiot got AIDS. HIV. No one thudding down the earth space. We're just making it anti racism. We're just making sure that we've got equity over here. Shut the hell up, you fucking degenerate. No one's thudding down airspace, and the FAA doesn't block legitimate rescue and recovery of flights. If you're encountering a problem, give it. So he calls him. Well, he tries to call him. There's another tweet three hours later. He's like, I'm trying to call you. I'm trying to call you. I'm not some fucking rando on X. I own X. I'm a multi billion. I'm trying to help people out. I can't get a hold of you. Well, you're making freeways less racist. And taking your AIDS medication. No one's shutting down aerospace. Who are you going to believe? The fucking idiot with AIDS? Or the dude trying to drop off supplies? Who are you going to believe in this situation? I'm going to believe the dude who's trying to drop off supplies and not the fucking dude with AIDS. No one's shutting down airspace. FAA doesn't block legitimate... See, this is lawyer speak. Legitimate rescue and recovery. What is... Again... According to you, the only legitimate rescue and recovery flights are a bunch of fucking federal copters that have rainbow on them or some stupid shit like that. That's it. That, that's the only thing that's legitimate to you. Meanwhile, you ain't helping anybody. You're illegitimate. So they are, again, all we have are reports that they're blocking people. That's all we have. That's all we have. And again, the famous spoke Zimzerb coming out telling everybody to shut up about how bad of a job they're doing because it's dangerous. No, you you are dangerous. You, the Pete uh, butt plug dude, you guys are dangerous. Scumbags. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Support and channel. You're going to be kept up to date with FEMA killing people. Hit that subscribe button and make why because the salt must flow.